Hello and welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a home educating mum of three from the UK and today's video is all about New Year's resolutions, specifically focusing on home educating. Um, it's a collaboration with quite a few people, Home Educating The Mad Lads, Rebecca and Sadie Berman, Arrows and Arrows, The Richards and Simple Living, Big Family Home Ed, Mrs Mum's Homeschool and Homeschool in the Woods. What? There are loads of us and I'm going to put all of their links to their channel so you can check them out in the description below. Um, but for now let's just talk about my New Year's resolutions. I am really excited to hear what they, they come up with and if they have similar ones or whether um, we're all completely different. I have no idea. I haven't seen any of the other videos yet. So my first New Year's resolution is to be, to be consistent with adhering to my vlog scheduling. Um, the last few weeks I've not been doing that, I think with the holidays and everything I've just been trying really hard to get loads of stuff done and um, just not been thinking about how I need to portion out my day to get the right things done and that's been really stressful. Um, so I want to, in the new year, um, once I've uh, finished caring for my relative, because obviously that's kind of throwing lots of things up in the air at the moment. Um, I want to do that. I think that'll also help me cope with the upcoming um, things that I'm going to be dealing with surrounding that. So um, it's really hard to say those words out loud. Um, so um, I think that consistent adherence to the block scheduling will help me kind of get through the difficult months ahead. And I think we're heading towards another huge um, lockdown with schools shut and things um, in the future here in the UK. So I think that. Um, I'm definitely going to be needing to have some consistency and some routine in my life to kind of help me through and to help the children through as well. Um, I think that's going to be really important. Number two is to make sure I have outside time every day. Um, I do have the option of that in, in relative privacy and, um, you know, disease free and that I can go to the paddocks with my horses. Um, there's nobody else there. The other the person that we share the field with, we go at different times of the day so we don't see each other very often. Um, so we can go there, we have five acres almost and we can really be alone as a family. Um, and obviously we're out in the open, we're up on a big hill, it's very breezy, we're not coming into contact with anything. And we can be there all the time, you know, we could be there all day if, we, if it was fine. Um, and, and that's something that's really important to me is making sure that not only am I getting there every day um, and not sending my husband to do them because quite often if I'm having a if I've had a really stressful day I know I need to go and see the horses because it will make me feel better but I don't I send him later on in the day and um, and I need to stop doing that because I know it will make me feel better and um, the fresh air is really good for me uh, number three um, I want to I my body works much better on a low carb diet not completely zero carbs not like keto but definitely lower, um, the more pizza, crisps and cake I eat, <laughs> um, or even just pasta, rice, that sort of thing, I get very bloated, I get very uncomfortable, I put on weight very easily. And although my goal isn't to lose weight, because um, I don't believe in setting goals like that, I feel like they don't set me up for success personally. Um, and I don't want to have that kind of um, narrative around my children to think that this whole weight loss culture, I don't, 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 just don't want to put that on them. Um, so I don't say it to them either. Um, is that I just want to make sure I'm eating in a way that my body responds to and in a way that makes me feel the healthiest and have as, the much, energy, as much energy as possible. And definitely low carb is, um, is that for me. So I want to try and get back onto that, make sure I'm eating healthy fats and more protein but also try to be more meat reduced in that protein. Like I don't want to be eating um, ham and chicken and salami and stuff all the time. Um, I'm not a vegan by any means or a vegetarian, but I do feel like that's something that I will explore in the future. So um, I want to encourage myself to be more meat reduced um, within that. So maybe that's, that, maybe that's like one and a bit. Uh, number four is exercise every day. Um, I really try, I like, when I go to bed, I'm like, tomorrow I shall do half an hour of yoga and it never happens. Like, it's just in, like, it's in the last month or so, I've just been not doing it. And I really think that that's Im important. Um, not just for me, but for the children. So 
So this is one like the outside time, making sure they're having outside time every day, making sure we're adhering to the schedule so it's better for them. Um, this one is more for me. Um, the, the last one was more for me, but this one is for all of us. The making sure that we're taking time to exercise every day. When I do yoga, the children want to join in. So I think that is um, like a big deal that I should be doing it and I should be setting a good example and then they're gonna be joining in with me as well. And it also helps everyone get what we call the wiggles, like when they're just really, uh, really buzzing. Helps get the wiggles out at the beginning of the day before we start doing our learning. And I think that it's something that um, I should be encouraging them to do as well as myself. Um, but if like we're going for a long walk one of those days, then I, would, um, I wouldn't heavily encourage it, I think. But just making sure that we are doing something that I can tick off as vigorous exercise, not just strolling around the block. Uh, number five, um, I've touched on this in one of my previous videos about when you have a wobble and what to do. Um, I've, my final news resolution is to stop worrying when my children should be and just celebrate where they are. Um, celebrating every progress and we know with children with special educational needs it can be slow the progress it doesn't happen like this and it doesn't happen maybe as fast as children who are the same age who are home educated um, who are not have they don't have any special educational needs and it's certainly not going at the same progress that a child is doing at school where they're kind of trying to get them at, trying to get as much information from them as quickly as possible um, I do struggle sometimes with going, oh, look at that child who is the same age, who's at school, they're doing this, this and this, and he's not, or she's not, or whatever. Um, and I think that's my biggest thing this year is to just go, yeah, they're doing the work that they're doing, but they're progressing, they're enjoying it, they're loving learning, they have a thirst for knowledge, and that's what I'm trying to do here is let I want them to love what they're doing and to crave learning more um, and uh, if that's what we're doing and that's what we're achieving then we're doing the right things if they are achieving and um, you know I'm meeting the goals I have for myself as their teacher as well as their parent then um, then we're doing it fine so I'd love to hear some of your new year's resolutions tell me what's going on with you guys um, I'm not super vocal on social media at the moment just because I've been taking a little bit of a break just because I feel like, you know, this, I'm juggling lots of balls and social media is a plastic one that I can drop and I know that you guys will be there when I pick up, so uh, pick it up again. Um, I am going to try and keep consistent with these videos now um, just to, for some consistency for me in my days as well. So I will see you on Monday. Have a lovely weekend, guys, and happy new year. Bye.